Hello everybody, my name is Zen and welcome to the very first episode of my Mass Effect Legendary Edition playthrough. I'm so excited for this. In case you're new to the channel and you have no idea what kind of content we have, I upload daily videos. I've been doing it every day for almost 10 years now as of making this video. I haven't missed a single day and with that I play a lot of RPGs. So right now I've got things like Cyberpunk 2077 going on, um, Baldur's Gate 3, stuff like that. Uh, I've also done all of Dragon Age, so Origins 2 and Inquisition. And generally how I go about doing this is I go from start to finish in the game and do everything. And that is what we plan on doing here. So we're going to start with the first Mass Effect. And I'm actually going to start a new game, make my character, and then I'll give you the rundown once we get to the end of character creation. Just because uh, that that's a, that's a boring step. So we're going with Femme Shep. I think uh, Female Shepherd is the best one. I love Jennifer Hale as a voice actress and I think she completely nails it uh, for Mass Effect. So we're going with the, uh, the the like box art look that they added in Mass Effect 3 and is available as a, as a default option in the Legendary Edition for the first Mass Effect now and I like that a lot. We're going to do Colonist. Uh, this is our backstory. This is important for anyone who's new to the channel because I play on the RPG elements quite a bit. So like my character, this backstory is going to be very important to the choices that they make. Uh, you were born and raised on Mindior, a small border colony in the Attican Traverse. There's a lot of, lot of sci-fi terms going. When you were 16, slavers raided the planet, slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by a passing alliance patrol, and you enlisted in the military a few years later. Confirm Heck yeah. Psychological profile. And then, on top of that, we're going Soul Survivor. During your service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you're, you, are, you alone are left to tell the tale. I like the combination of those two because I feel like uh, they work well together, and that is going to be uh, a cool, critical storytelling beat for the rest of the series. Confirm military specialization. I'm also going Vanguard. If you've never played Mass Effect before, Vanguard, um, well, actually, I should say that there's kind of like uh, like special powers type thing that the, the Adept does. It's uh, being able to like telekinetically throw things around. It's really cool. It's super sci-fi. The Vanguard has that option, but they're also um, like they're, they're good with weapons. Um, we, we did a full playthrough of Mass Effect Andromeda on the series, so or on the, the channel. So if you're interested in that series, I'll put a link in the comments that you could go check that one out. It's a, it's a bit old, obviously. It came out when Andromeda did, but we played Vanguard on that, and it was super fun. So it's going to be cool to uh, contrast this Vanguard with that one. Confirm facial identification. We're going with that default appearance. I think it's pretty good. Profile reconstruction complete. And accept. Confirm. Identification confirmed. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just do normal difficulty on this. Auto level up off. Legendary mode for level scaling. It's not 1 to 60 like it was before in legendary mode. It is 1 to 30. And uh, they adjust everything based on that. Um, squad powers. I'm setting all subtitles on autosave, enable tutorials, all that fun stuff. Except I'm so excited. <laughs> this is such a good game. Well, what about Shepard? She grew up in the colonies. She knows how tough life can be out there. Her parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. She saw her whole unit die on a coups. She could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in human history. It is called Mass Effect. Hard to read that fast when it's reading it out loud, I'll tell you what. They are 
Terrace Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. I forgot how good this music is. We Brings me back. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500 K. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. If you didn't know, uh, Mass Effect, the very first game, came out in 2007. That original game was built for like 720p TVs and monitors, okay? Uh, this is a substantial upgrade on the graphics and not a departure from them, and I like that a lot. So it is uh, definitely very true to the original, though looking completely solid. I do suggest going and looking up uh, some comparison graphics between the, the Legendary Edition and the original because it is a stark contrast. On top of that, I do wish that they had something like Diablo 2 Resurrected has where you could switch back and forth between the old graphics and the new, but alas, they do not. So let's uh, actually start continuing the game here. I am going to say my character, uh, the, the main impetus at the moment, the, like the main thing in her soul is the fear of being alone, right? Because, you know, she lost her family and then she was the sole survivor. Uh, she, she tries to hide it. So that's, that is a, a theme that I'm going to push through of all the dialogue, I think, for uh, what I'm choosing. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. <laughs> Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Great. You pissed the captain off and now I'm gonna pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> oh, baby. Beautiful looking game. I told you, I just saw him. He marked Violet. He was on a mission. The sensitivity seems kind of high. You know what? I am going to change that. This is the, as literally as far as I've gotten um, in making sure everything was working properly. Uh, we'll do that. Uh, that's a bit better. Right along with him. Relax, Presley. You got to give yourself an ulcer. Can I talk to him? Oh, that is not the button I wanted to hit. Oh goodness. Can I can I put my weapon away? <laughs> Crap! I don't I don't actually remember <laughs> how to put the weapon away. Uh, no, no. All right, I <laughs> crap. <laughs> we no one more. Oh hey, we have a sniper rifle. This is like the default setup they have. Oh crap, I'm gonna have to look this up, aren't I? It's H. It's H on PC. That's how you do it. I don't think he wants to talk to me. Oh, he does. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. 
You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Do you have a problem with the Captain? No, ma'am. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated Special Forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the Captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Okay, that's good. A little bit of uh, XP there, actually, for talking to him. I didn't realize it gave you XP for talking to him. I, I like looking around. I like, you know, chatting with everybody. Getting information. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coups. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Yep, just going to leave them to it. Don't think he wants to talk to us. I'm trying to remember where to go on the... Oh, my goodness. I just did it again. On the Normandy. It's been it's been a while. I guess, like, come into here? Talk to Nihilus, maybe? Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, 
it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. This is um, this is also just really cool sci-fi stuff. I think that um, the thing to keep in mind with Mass Effect is now you play a sci-fi game and you're like, oh yeah, it's, it's this kind of treaded territory. But back in 2007, a sci-fi game like this, um, it was a pretty big deal. It's a reason why Mass Effect is considered a classic. Uh, the series, the trilogy, that is. When you look back at the three games, Mass Effect 1 is the one that's looked down upon the most just because it's the most archaic of the three. But my goodness, I, I am enjoying being back in this. If you didn't know, I, I have played Mass Effect, the trilogy, at least 10 times through, at least. And I put hundreds of hours into the multiplayer in Mass Effect 3. So like this, this is nothing new to me, but I think it's cool for anyone who's never seen Mass Effect, never played it, to have the chance to do that now and to obviously get updated on like all of this cool stuff that um, that we're learning here. This, it, there's things that I'm remembering like, oh yeah, they introduced the Protheans like right at the beginning and they end up being a pretty important part throughout the game. So keep your ear out for them. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. It's actually standing out to me. I haven't played the first Mass Effect in years at this point. Um, it's standing out to me how well it was written, where it's not just a bunch of like uh, telling us what's happening. It's a bunch of just dialogue between characters and you're learning what's going on. I think that's really well done. Like we've learned that there is a, there was a, a first contact war between the Turians and the humans. Uh, we learned that they don't really like each other. And now we're learning that the humans don't have a whole lot of say in the galaxy, but they're trying to get their best foot forward. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get an evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... out after that no calm traffic at all just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold the 38.5 yeah. status report 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area 
Take us in, Joker, fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. <laughs> Slow zoom on the on the thing. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Silas, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. I'm like viscerally remembering how good this game is now. Uh, left mouse button to fire. Sustain fire causes weapons to overheat. Yeah, okay. Do we have the cover system? Hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. Can I shoot these things? Right mouse button, draw your weapon. H to put it away, yeah. Sorry, they're harmless. It told me they're harmless. Oh yeah, that's right, you don't have ammo in these. Oh, I forgot, Mass Effect 1 doesn't have ammo. Hold the right button to move the mouse to aim to target, left click, a power icon to use it. Oh yeah. Ah, this actually the UI on this is pretty, pretty nice. They've done a pretty good job of that. Um, let's do throw. <laughs> what happened here? Well, we just used a special thing. Hold left shift to switch weapons for for your squad. Oh, I've, okay. So I've got a shotgun here. That's nice. Um, they've got their stuff. Cool. I ke I keep wanting to run, but. It's definitely not shift because shift brings up the window. Is there is there a sprint? I don't remember. Oh, Jenkins, no. He immediately died. <laughs> Poor Jenkins. I guess I should, uh, oh my goodness, I need to change the sensitivity. This is like, um, oh, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, this is like number one priority on the channel. Anytime we start a game with a shooter, you, you just check. I always change the sensitivity like 50 times. Poor Jenkins. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, Finn. Caden's a cool character. Though, not a character that I've ever really utilized. We'll talk about that more. Uh, Metagel is needed to heal injury squad members. Uh, injured squad members Omni Gel can be used to bypass decryption and electronical challenges. Both can be acquired by defeating enemies and opening stuff. Press V to use a meta gel to heal, heal your squad. Cool. Having to remember all this stuff. It's been a while. I feel like the shooting feels a lot better. As you gain levels, use the squad screen to improve your team's abilities. Press escape to access the squad screen. Squad screen lets you view your teammates' talents. Move over a talent or its rank to view it. Click on a talent to spend a talent point to gain a rank in it. As you gain levels, you will acquire talent points and unlock higher ranks. I am gonna change the uh, the sound settings on that stuff, by the way. All right, so we have pistols, assault training, throw, warp, vanguard, charm, and intimidate. Um, I don't mind getting some of the, like, uh, the talking stuff up. Vanguard increases biotic protection, pistol and shotgun damage. Um, we need 
I, I would like to get lift, but apparently you need seven points in the throw to get, oh, I see, to unlock lift. Yeah, that's right. Tactical armor increases damage protection. We're going to need tactical armor. Um, assault training increases melee damage, increases weapon damage, gains adrenaline burst ability. So like we have, we have a lot of options here. Um, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and put two points into those because I like opening those up right away. And uh, yeah, we'll put a point into assault training. Also, not sure what I want to do, Paragon or Renegade. We'll see. I'm, I'm, I, that's that's something I got to kind of think about. Uh, final thing I'm going to do here is just go into the sound and change the sound effect volume down to like maybe 70 six fine hey <laughs> whatever we'll leave it at that <laughs> you know i have one two and three there i just noticed but oh oh that's right he has points too uh, i'm gonna go ahead and auto level him up at the moment um but when it comes to me am i able to like put throw on my bars because quick slots Okay, I have warp. Can I do, can I put warp on there? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we'll do throw there. Warp damages all enemies and objects and makes them more vulnerable. Put that on four. Cool. That'll do. Use left shift to issue orders. Z attack your squad to it. Oh. Yeah, this, this is definitely a better weapon at the moment for what we're doing. When it comes to utilizing the, um, here we go again. <laughs> I'm just going to go 10. When it comes to utilizing, that feels better. When it comes to utilizing the, uh, the shotgun, it'll be a lot better once we get a couple other abilities. Vanguard is not as good of a class compared to Mass Effect 2 and 3 in the original Mass Effect. But we'll try our best. Ugh. Forgot about that. Oh goodness. Here, let's um let's utilize our skills here. We'll hit throw on him, knock him down. Did I actually kill him or did he just get thrown away? I didn't think I was gonna make it. Where'd Ashley go? Hello. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. He the one in charge here, ma'am? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns, nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Oh, oh I wanted to here. describe what happened leading Let's, up to the attack. I, I hit the wrong one. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. 
A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins. And the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. All right. Move out! We're gonna go. I think, uh... Oh, person escaped to go to the squad screen, spent town points. Cool. So we have Ashley here, and we'll go ahead and auto-level her real quick. But I, I do plan on leveling them as we go. Ooh, we got uh, light armor, scorpion one. Take all. Uh, I like this. Press the escape button to access the equipment screen. The equipment screen allows you to equip and upgrade gear for your squad. Click the filter tab to switch item types. Select an item and click the equip button to assign it. Click on the equipped items upgrade slot to select an upgrade. Click the omni gel button to break down in the selected uh, the selected item into omni gel. Well, we have some armor here. This one is slightly better. It's a nice little item. So we'll go ahead and equip that. It gives us a different look. This is one of those th funny little things. Um, when it comes to Mass Effect 1, there was definitely more RPG in Mass Effect 1 than there was in 2 and 3. And I love that. Run to the waypoint, take cover behind the rock. Is there? Okay, I'm gonna, go, go, I'm just gonna go ahead and confirm this because it's bothering me. Key bindings, uh, move, move, toggle, walk, crouch, use sprint, space bar. Really, space bar is the sprint button. All right, that's fine. Good to know. Oh, that's right. There is cover. Okay, left mouse button to fire. Cool. Hold right mouse button to lean and aim out. Approaching an object. Blah blah blah. G to throw a grenade. Good. You know what? This this feels a little bit better than original Mass Effect did. So there's definitely an improvement here. Um, that's my shotgun. That's my pistol. I actually kind of like the pistols quite a lot. Can I use throw? No, that's not going to work. <laughs> Fine. We'll just run in there. Actually, let's go ahead and... Uh, oh my goodness, I'm just having such a hard time here with with weapons. Uh, I want the shotgun. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, four is that one. All right, that's, that's good to know. We're gonna need, um, we're gonna need a bit of additional work done on our, uh, on our cooldowns in order to make this build effective, but we're gonna, we're gonna try our best. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take all that. I believe there was an upgrade there for us. Assault rifle is better, although it is less accurate. I think I'm okay with that though. Shotgun, pistol, pistol is not as well. Actually, it is better damage wise. We'll take that. Sniper rifle. Uh, sure. I'm not really gonna utilize the sniper rifle all that much. I don't think I could change their weapons out. I'm not gonna do that right now. Just so you know. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Okay. We can do that. Uh... We can change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Cool. Thanks, buddy. It, it is it is really weird going back to this game. They have increased Looks like they hit the, camp hard. the uh, combat, the or they've, they've made it feel a lot better than original Mass Effect did. It just, um, it's a little bit smoother. It's a little oh less still alive. awkward. What did the Geth do to them? You like cyber zombies? Because we got cyber zombies. Do I have the shotgun equipped? I did. But I'm expecting it to do slightly more damage than it is. Oh wow, that throw missed because he um, wasn't quite there yet. <laughs> he was he was not ready to be attacked. We 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 play by fair rules here, you know. He's like, hold on, hold on, guys. Can I loot these guys? I don't remember. Yeah, okay. You see, loot over here. The 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 uh, loot thing is actually pretty far away. 
Like, look, look how far away I could see this. It's kind of crazy. Some locked objects require decryption or electronics to access. If you, if any squad member has that required talent, you will be able to unlock the object using the decryption or electronics interface or by spending Omni Gel. Advanced, or advanced to the central core, move the mouse and move around the ring. Left click and right click to move the inner and outer. Avoid the security programs. Forgot about this. Begin manual override. Oh goodness, that's right. Um, boop, boop, boop. Boop boop. It's, it's been a while, but humans, thank the maker. But I love that little Hurry, mini game. Close the door before they come back. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Doctor Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the Prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He could have been here. I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers. Bringers of darkness. Heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire. Screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No, I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. There's like, um, oh yeah, Paragon Plus 2. There's like a lot of, uh, foreshadowing there that I don't think I've ever noticed before. It's cool, though. Loot all that. Got another Omni Gel. I'll take it. All right, let's move forward. Uh, it's possible that I probably should change weapons because the shotgun just, I don't feel like it's doing it for us at the moment. Saren. Ah, another Turian. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Oh. <sighs> That's bad. That's real bad. Oh man, this game is gorgeous now. What is that? Off in the distance. How far away is Ashley? <laughs> it sounded like she was that far away. Man, that's cool. Legendary edition. We don't we don't deserve it, but we got it, and I'm happy for it. 
So cool. By the way, uh, if you didn't know, the Legendary Edition does come with all three games. It's, it's the whole trilogy. It's not just... It's not just one of the games. It's all three of them. And we do plan on doing a full playthrough of all three of them. I'm going to switch it up here. Let's go... Uh, let's go back to the rifle. Can you, can you go into cover it? Thank you. Didn't really want to do it. Hey, well, maybe, maybe the, uh, just maybe the shotgun was actually pretty good because in comparison to what we got going on here. Yeah. You know what? Well, that's what we're going to do. We're going to switch to the shotgun. Um, what was the heal? No, nope, that's to go there. Uh, crap. I actually don't remember. I'm just going to go ahead and hit a meta gel. I don't remember what the uh, heal was. What button it was, that is. Hello there, guests. I'm just gonna... Shotgun you. Oh, I can't move on the... There it goes. <laughs> okay, you know what? The shotgun's pretty good. No, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna trash talk it anymore. It's... It did a lot of damage, actually. Pretty good. Got another Omnigel. We can open this up. Boop, boop, boop. It's, it's weird that I have like a... Uh, Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it have, safe? Are they gone? I have a muscle memory to that that I just don't remember, but it's there. It's just like it popped up and I knew exactly how to do it right off the bat. Uh, they're gone. Stop right there. It's, uh, they're gone. We took care of them. It's not safe. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we it's made good a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. All right. So this is our first decision um, for Paragon or Renegade. I don't... I, I usually play Paragon. Uh, and I don't know if... I, I think I just... Okay. Here's what we're going to do to begin with while I decide whether I want to go one or the other. Is um, my, my character is going to kind of say what they would say right i don't think i don't think our our shepherd would be like you're holding out on me or is that all no it'd just be cool thanks this should help let's move out good luck i think it's assumed they have more stuff right which is why we're gonna open this door and go in here and be like oh electronic skill too low oh no that's unfortunate could i um get one of them to do it no probably not right i don't remember how how all that uh ends up working that's fine i'm not i'm not concerned about it we're gonna get so much loot throughout this game if if you know me you know i like getting loot well there's gonna be far more loot it's not us than you can imagine <laughs> going throughout the first mass effect something's moving over behind those crates wait don't don't shoot i'm one of you i'm human Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. 
I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I, I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah... Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. I mean, he got he got lucky, but he he really shouldn't have uh, he really shouldn't have gone and taken a nap. Oh my goodness, the shotgun is great actually, compared to the damage I was doing with that uh, assault rifle just a minute ago. My goodness, this is nice. I gotta love it. Um, I know about my powers game. I don't need you to tell me how powerful I actually am. Wait, no, ah. What is the, uh, crap, no, uh, oh no, oh crap. I was just talking about how powerful I am and then I get stuck on terrain. Right, what is the commands for getting them to follow me? I actually don't remember. Can I not, there we go. Take that one out. Um, while we're at it, let's go ahead and switch to the sniper rifle. Take this guy out who's walking towards us. Ooh, wow, the sensitivity on the sniper rifle is kind of really, really, really low. <laughs> oh, you know what? We can actually just go ahead and switch to this. Hello there, sir. Hey, hey, hey. All right, there is still one guy over here, right? Let's run. Oh, maybe not. Oh, he must be dead. Okay, so I'm, I'm assuming that the rest of them are over here. Why else would they be shoot? Oh, there they are. Oh, my um, my throw is still on cooldown. Wow, that that's a long cooldown compared to what the other games allow you to do. It's still on cooldown. Loot this stuff while I'm at it. <laughs> you may as well, right? Hello, guest. Man, as we get more powerful, we're gonna be cruising through this game just based on how the Vanguard ends up playing as you get your... No, 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 that's bad. I need a heal. No, that was a grenade. That was the wrong button. <laughs> We're gonna quickly check. Options, been so long. Combat, uh, you first, first aid is V. That makes total sense. You know, V as in like heal. V as in first aid. V as in I'm dead, please save me. You know, this. <laughs> V as in very important to heal myself. There we go. That's how we're going to remember it. <laughs> Usually I come up with some kind of, you know, like H. H to holster, right? That makes sense. V to heal? I don't, I don't know. Set the, the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Yes, they're so cool. Let's do this. Let's do it and do it. Do it well. All right, we're gonna. Demolition charges. The guest must have planted them. 
Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, this one seems to be up over there. That's right. I'm, I'm remembering where this all is now. I think there was... Uh, yeah, okay. It's a bridge. Man, there's a bunch of these guys here. All right, that's fine. I'm just going to take the time and go and uh, get this stuff taken care of. Where's the... Oh, it's over here. Okay. The, the problem is right where my microphone sits is on like the right side of my screen. So if I have like a mini map in the top right, or oftentimes the bottom right as well, I just can't. I can't see it. It's just, it is what it is. Can I aim that one? Him. I'm being jammed. There's only one man that'll give me the raspberry. Oh, we got rid of that shield real quick, didn't we? Oh, we gotta wait for the heat. Got all about that. That's kind of the problem with the shotgun and the sniper rifle is their their heat thing is very low. It, uh, it heats up quite rapidly. No, he's dead. All right, that's fine. Let me get this guy. Easy peasy. Where's the other bomb? I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, this is definitely a dated game. The, the, the Legendary Edition helps significantly to kind of bring it to a modern game. You know what, we should check um, here because I'm bound to have gotten a new shotgun. Yeah, I'll take it. Uh, I also got a new pistol. We got a assault rifle. They're, they're okay. Sniper rifles, they're all okay. And we got some armor that we're not gonna utilize. Also, you totally can change out their stuff. So like, like this one, the, the Explorer 1 is technically better for her. Actually, that's really cool. Why don't I have that one? I want that one. Why does Ashley get all the cool gear? <laughs> Give it to me. Can we? Oh, that was bad. All right, we're just gonna run in there. Shotgun time. Oh, you know what? I do need to heal my team. What's that? Oh, I see. It would be nice to have some kind of FOV slider. I know third person shooters don't generally have them, especially back in 2007, but it would have been nice to have that as like a quality of life thing, honestly. Uh, let's get this loot first. Ooh, heavy armor. Um, I think we only get medium armor. I don't think we get heavy armor. I'm not sure about that. I think, I think I actually have to talent up to get heavy armor. And getting heavy armor would actually be ideal. Begin my manual override. Boop. Crap. No, oh, I, I, I screwed that one up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> was, why was that so bad? Okay. Uh, I got something there that I thought I was going to use, but apparently not. That's fine. We'll go through my inventory when when I get through all of this. Handle it from there. Oh, I, I just now noticed the, the stamina bar. I see. Okay, that's that's good. That's good to see. That'll help me out quite a bit. Normandy. The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. They weren't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Don't touch it. It's sucking them in. Seizure alert. 
should, should warn people about that beforehand just in case some people do uh get you get uh get seizures from flashing lights like that i believe there might be a seizure warning like buried somewhere in one of those menus but it should be a little bit more oh look we got our first achievement <laughs> Oh, and yes, I'm running the game on Origin. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Direct. Man, I love this game. It is so freaking good. Doctor? Dr. Chakwas. I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Oh, you know, good. Not great. <laughs> like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Why did his um, forearms look like really tiny little, <laughs> like, T-Rex arms? I don't I, well, I, When the camera goes back out, look at his arms. They looked kind of weird. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. Yeah, it, didn't, it didn't look cold. like that. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. It was just when his arms were crossed that it looked really funny. <clears throat> Something going on with, like, the, uh, the bending of the model, maybe. What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. 
I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? Ooh. See, this is like our first real decision of what I think my character would say based on, you know, her background. Uh, based on her losing her family on her original planet and then being a sole survivor. I think she's far more pessimistic about things like this, so. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we going to tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Ah, cool. A good start. Now it feels like the sensitivity is way low. Like this is from one side of my mouse, um, my mouse pad to another, and I have. Uh, I don't know why. I, I've, I've got like a huge mouse pad. Okay, well that that I may have to change that. Ugh, why does it feel slow now? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense.